Mr. Vindman, you testified in your deposition that you did not know the whistleblower. Uh, rank member, it's uh, Lieutenant Colonel Vindman, please. Uh, Le Lieutenant Colonel Vindman, you testified in the deposition that you did not know the, who the whistleblower was. Or is. I do not know who the whistleblower is. That is so how is it possible for you to name these people and then out the whistleblower? Per the advice of my counsel, I've, I've been advised not to answer qu specific questions about members of the intelligence community. This is, are you aware that this is the intelligence committee that's conducting an impeachment hearing? Of course I am. Wouldn't the appropriate place for you to come to to testify would be the intelligence committee about someone within the intelligence community? Ranking member, per the advice of my counsel and the instructions from the chairman, I've been advised not to provide any specifics on who I've spoken to with inside the intelligence community. What I can offer is that these were properly cleared individuals or was a properly cleared individual with a need to know. Well, this is, uh, I mean, you can really, you can plead the fifth but you're here to answer questions, and you're here under subpoena. Uh, so you can either answer the question, or you can plead the fifth. Uh, excuse me. Uh, on behalf of my client, we are uh, following the rule of the committee, the rule of the chair, with regard to this issue. And this does not call for an answer that is invoking the fifth or any theoretical issue like that. We're following the ruling of the chair. What, Counselor, what ruling is that? Uh, if I could interject, Counsel is correct. Whistleblower has the right, statutory right to anonymity. These proceedings will not be used to out the whistleblower. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.